We know you can't wait to get out and have fun on your new personal watercraft. But the best way to have fun is to do it safely. That's why Yamaha wants to share some basics about your personal watercraft. Boating rules, how your riding affects other boaters, and about responsible boating practices. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Junior Grade Christine Gustafson of the United States Coast Guard. Remember that the U.S. Coast Guard officially classifies your personal watercraft as a powerboat, so you are bound by the rules that govern the waterways. You, as a powerboat operator, are responsible for the safe operation of your personal watercraft. The Coast Guard has a slogan about boating, know before you go. Let's look at what you should know before you go out on the water on any personal watercraft. There are five very important things you must know before taking your personal watercraft out for a ride. How to equip it how to equip yourself, how the vehicle handles, how you handle the vehicle, and how boating rules apply to you. Know you are bound by boating laws. Once you get on a personal watercraft, you are bound by the laws, customs, and traditions affecting all boaters. As the captain, you are responsible for operating your boat courteously, responsibly, legally, and safely. Know your boat. Yamaha has placed important safety information on your boat. Read it. Also, read your owner's manual, which gives you specific information about your boat and general operating guidelines. Follow your Yamaha tips booklet to learn operating techniques and develop riding skills. Yamaha includes a laminated riding instruction card listing the important features which you should know before you go. It is important to share all of this information when instructing others on how to ride your craft. Remember that all of these documents are guides. They don't replace good judgment and common sense. Before starting your craft, check the throttle and steering systems for proper operation. Open the hood to ventilate fuel vapors from the engine compartment. Do not start the engine if there is a fuel leak or loose electrical connection. Review your owner's manual for other pre-operation checks. Know how to equip your boat. The Coast Guard classifies your personal watercraft as a boat, so you must have a serviceable, Coast Guard-approved fire extinguisher on board. Also, you must display your boat registration number according to your state's regulations. You can operate your personal watercraft only during the day because it is not equipped with lights for night operation. Know how to equip yourself and your passengers. All those on board must wear personal flotation devices, commonly called a life jacket. You must wear a wetsuit and should consider wearing water shoes, gloves, and other protective apparel. Water sports increase your risk of injury from contact with your watercraft, other vessels, docks, rocks, coral, or the water's surface, particularly as speeds increase. Normal swimming attire may not adequately protect you. In addition to helping protect against abrasions, a wetsuit can help protect against hypothermia and injuries to certain body orifices, such as the rectum and vagina, due to impact with the water surface. Remember that proper equipment helps to protect you and keep you coming back for more fun. Know never to drink and ride. At least 50% of all recreational boating fatalities involve alcohol and alcohol is involved in 69% of all drownings. Never drink and ride. Know your abilities. This includes your age, riding ability, and physical condition. If you are an inexperienced rider, be sure to ride in uncrowded waterways with little or no boat traffic. Yamaha recommends that a personal watercraft operator be at least 16 years of age and have a valid driver's license. Even though a motor vehicle operator's license may not be required for operating a water vehicle in your state, it is one indicator that you have previously demonstrated a reasonable degree of maturity, responsibility, and good judgment. Many states have minimum age and education requirements, so check your local laws before you ride. Parents, even though your child may be the right age to operate the craft, you should still guide and supervise your child's use. If others teach your child, be sure that the instructor knows proper operation and is competent to teach your child. Help by setting limits and let them know what you expect of them. As a parent, you are the best one to make your child's time on the water fun and safe. 
Each rider's ability differs depending on a number of factors, such as prior boating experience, comfort in the water, and physical condition. Regardless of your comfort level, you should always ride with someone nearby. It's good common sense. Know where the controls are. Take the time to learn where the controls are, so you don't have to look down while riding. The throttle is on the right. There's a start button, a stop button, and an engine stop switch lanyard that connects to your wrist on the left. Some vehicles are equipped with a quick shift trim system located on the left. Some models have reverse. Read your owner's manual to fully know your craft before you go. Know how the boat works. Personal watercraft are propelled by water flowing through the jet intake and out the steering nozzle. Keep all hands, clothing, and hair away from both the jet intake and steering nozzle when the engine is running. Know how many people you can carry on board. Some personal watercraft are designed for a single rider, some for two riders, some for three. Never exceed the recommended passenger or weight capacity for any reason. Show your passengers how to hold on to the operator properly. Know how to turn. Personal watercraft use jet thrust to turn. Turn the handlebar in the direction you want to go, and the nozzle pushes water in the opposite direction. Remember that you must apply throttle to turn. If you release the throttle completely, you cannot turn, even if you turn the handlebars. To turn, reduce your speed, then turn the handlebars and shift your weight in the desired direction and apply throttle. More thrust turns the vehicle sharply. Low thrust turns less sharply. Releasing the throttle completely causes the vehicle to go straight. See your owner's manual for information specific to your craft. Remember that operating your personal watercraft requires skills acquired only through practice over a period of time. Take the time to learn the basic operating techniques well before attempting more difficult maneuvers. Regardless of your turning technique, plan for enough room to safely turn from any dock, swimmers, or other boats. Again, state boating laws regulate the distance you must stay from obstacles, some as much as 100 feet. Make sure other boaters can predict your move, so they can look out for you too. To reboard in deep water, swim to the rear of the craft. If capsized, right the vehicle, following the instructions on the stern. Pull yourself up on the floor and kneel down. Place both hands on the footrest. Move to the seat and sit down. Attach the engine stop switch lock plate and put the lanyard on your wrist. Then start the engine and off you go. No local conditions. Learn the water conditions in which you are going to ride. Watch for tidal currents and underwater obstacles. Never ride in water that is less than two feet, 60 centimeters deep. Watch out for storms because weather conditions can quickly change. Always stay in sight of land so you can return to shore quickly if necessary. A long day on the water can be fun, but tiring. So know your limits. Know the impact you have on others enjoying the water. Remember, others have the right to enjoy the water too. Stay away from swimmers, scuba divers, surfers, and others in the water, as swimmers and powerboats don't mix. Stay away from sailboats and sailboards, as they depend on wind for their power and cannot maneuver as well as you. Know whether special areas are designated for operating your personal watercraft. Noise is usually not welcome where people go for quiet or relaxation. You can do a few simple things to minimize your noise impact on those around you. Keep your boat well maintained to minimize the engine noise. When riding, go slow when near the shore. And don't do all your riding in one small area. Even with the quietest boat, riding constantly in one area will make your noise and you unwelcome. Also, just because you can run up on shore doesn't mean you're always allowed to. Many beaches and docks are privately owned or have restricted access. Wake jumping is dangerous. If you cross a wake close behind another boat, 
you are an unwelcome distraction to that boater and a potential hazard to any oncoming craft. Also, you may injure yourself or damage your boat when landing from a jump. Crossing a wake should always be done cautiously, prudently, and courteously for the sake of other boaters and yourself. Always avoid water skiers, since passing close by may distract or confuse the boat driver or the skier. And a ski rope can pose a great danger to the personal watercraft operator. Be predictable. Both the ski boat driver and the water skier need to know where you're going and what you're going to do. Towing a skier may affect handling. Consult your owner's manual for more specific information. Know the navigational rules of the road. As a watercraft operator, you're in command of a boat, so you must know the navigational rules of the road. All boaters are expected to know them and obey them. These rules were designed to prevent collisions by providing uniform patterns of operating behavior for all boaters. When meeting another boat head-on, you should turn to your right, keeping the other boat on your left side. Look out for any other traffic or obstacles which may appear from behind the other boat. The boat may block other boats which may be in your path, so pass cautiously. When overtaking or passing another boat, you need to stay clear. You may pass on either side, but pass cautiously while maintaining a safe speed and distance from the other craft. If you are the boat which is being passed, maintain your course and speed allowing the other vessel to safely maneuver around you. When crossing the path of another boat at nearly right angles, the boat on the right should maintain course and speed. The other boat, in this situation, must slow down or alter course to keep clear. If you must maneuver, steer to your right, passing safely astern of the other vessel. Operating your personal watercraft requires skills and knowledge of the operating conditions. There are rules, signs, and signals to be followed. So observe speed limits, know and follow no-wake zones and other navigational and warning signals. Obey the navigation rules of the road and use common sense at all times, because how you ride affects everyone on the water. Know how to keep your boat operating properly. For your own safety and maximum enjoyment of your personal watercraft, follow the maintenance procedures outlined in your owner's manual. Know how to stop. Your personal watercraft doesn't have brakes, so allow plenty of time to stop. Adequate stopping distance depends on the model personal watercraft you ride, but can be as much as 380 feet. Remember that you have no steering control once you release the throttle. If your unit has a reverse lever, do not use it as a brake because it will not slow down or stop the vehicle from higher speeds. Know how to turn off the engine. Before you start the engine, locate the engine stop switch. Yamaha personal watercraft have an engine stop switch lanyard which shuts the engine off if you fall. Make sure you securely attach it to yourself and to your boat. And keep it attached make sure that it is not wrapped around the handlebar. This video has covered a lot of topics, but there are other important sources of information on boating rules and safety. Be informed. You can get additional publications and course information from many organizations. Call the United States Coast Guard Boating Safety Hotline at 1-800-368-5647 for courses offered in your neighborhood. The most important thing to know is that you are a boater and it's up to you to know how to operate your boat in a safe, courteous, and responsible manner. If you do, you'll be helping keep the waterway safe and enjoyable for everyone. And remember to always use common sense and good judgment whenever on the water. Go ahead and have fun riding your personal watercraft, but make sure you do it safely and responsibly. And know before you go.